Over the last couple of weeks, we've made our way through Poland, eating some of the best dishes that this country has to offer. From Silesian specialties in Katowice, to traditional dishes at milk bars in Warsaw, to some of the tastiest street food in Krakow, we were not disappointed. And honestly, Poland might be highly underrated when it comes to food. However, it is nearly impossible for any country on this planet to escape this American fast food chain. So today, we are taking you with us to Polish McDonald's to find out what the best, the worst, and the most unusual items are that these golden arches have to offer here in Poland. Welcome to our humble hotel room. As you can see, a very special room. We're gonna eat this McDonald's food in here, which is hanging with our friends, Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Madonna, Elton John. And I'm not sure who that guy in the corner is, but uh, you can see him anyway, so <laughs> here we go. All right, we got a selection of items from the Polish McDonald's. We tried to get the things that not every country has, and there were a couple of special burgers that looked really, really good. Yeah, let's not talk too long. Let's just start eating. So this first burger is going to be the Maestro burger. Maestro. Maestro. It's just the master burger, I guess, and I haven't seen it on any other country menus. It's basically this beef burger that has two different variations, one with cheddar and bacon, but we got the Grand Classic, I think it's called, yes. right? So we cut it in half so you can see the insides in there. It has a sauce that is all over it, some nice red onions, lettuce, bacon, cheese and a patty. The bun looks a little fancier than some of the other ones. Yeah, I, I think it's that. a brioche bun, but then it has some seeds on it as yeah, well. Yeah, sesame seeds. Okay, oh. let's dig into it, see how good it is. The Maestro Burger from Polish McDonald's. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. First impression, really good. I like that there's big pickles on there. Not really common for McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the round pickles. These are longer, which is really nice. The sauce is a very nice smoky sauce. Yes. Like the big tasty sauce. A little bit. Yeah. It's smoky, that's right, but it's also fresh at the same time, yeah, right? because of the onions and the lettuce and the pickle. Yeah. Dang, the bacon, I mean, I feel like the bacon gives it this nice like smoky bite. A good smoky sauce is always great, but the pickle and the red onion give us that fresh crunch as well. Yeah. Very good mix there. And the patty is pretty thick. It's definitely bigger than like the double cheeseburger patty thickness. I would say that's my only small complaint. I just prefer the thin patties at McDonald's and oh. they should put two or so. This one is very thick, which makes it a little bit more on the dry side. But, but I think this ratio is nice. Yeah, the ratio oh. is definitely nice. I don't know. This is a nice burger. On the McDonald's scale, definitely one of the better ones mm. I've had, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh no. Mm. Look how big this pickle is. Really good start. Great start. Who knows, this might be the best burger at Polish McDonald's. Let us know if you're from here, if you have that regularly. I think that blows every Big Mac out of the water. I wanna do something chicken next, and um, I'd say we go a little off topic here. Off topic, I don't know if that's the right word. We have a chicken wrap here, and there were different variations of it. This is the crispy wrap bacon deluxe. No, 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 there's a, there's a piece, there's a tab. There's a tab Use here, the tab. so we'll see. We'll open this up. Wow. wow. All right. All right, let's just cut that nicely in half here so you can get a good view of the internals of this thing. Oh. Wow, it looks very nice. There's the wrap, there's a layer of lettuce around, then there's tomato in it, there's crispy chicken, there's bacon here on the side. And some type of sauce. And it looks really nice. I'll take the bottom and eat it how it's supposed to be in this beautiful little thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. I think that's pretty standard. I don't know if this is standard. I love it. It's yeah. so nice. The crispy chicken wraps, I think they're pretty good. They're, they're good overall. They're just a little fresher than the burgers. Right? That's true. Although they're not always there, right? Sometimes they don't have the wraps. And, and then not. sometimes in different countries, they have different wraps. Yeah. And I feel like maybe back in the day, they started with putting just some nuggets on them. Yeah. But this has a chicken big tender. piece of chicken tender. He's destroying Actually, it. He's getting it out. This is just I already bit almost half of that. It's a pretty big piece. Mm, very nice chicken breast, absolute white meat in there. A mayonnaise sauce, tomato, lettuce. No cheese though. I noticed there wasn't any cheese, but there is bacon. That's true. Also, is it funny that I always think putting pork on a chicken is some, something somehow funny? Oh, pork and chicken together. Pork and chicken together. No, that's that's okay. You can put bacon with everything. I feel there's a little bit of root to the chicken. I don't know why. But it's uh, not root to the burger? 
<laughs> Next, we're going to go with one of the weirdest things that I saw on the menu, and I've seen it advertised everywhere here in Poland. It's coffee with some type of orange juice or lemonade. Espresso with lemonade. So we've seen this throughout Poland, and I'm very curious. We got the cup, and it smelled like coffee, but it was very cold. Yeah, it smells a bit like coffee. I can smell a hint of lemon yes. in there, so I'm curious what the color... Oh my god. Oh. It literally looks like... It just look like an iced coffee. A little bit. I'm so curious. It's a little bit of like citrusy coffee smelling. Wow, look at this effect. But the pictures that they advertise always look so vibrant with this bright yeah. orange color and then coffee on top. It's really unclear right now, but okay. I think this would settle. I'm so curious. Oh yeah, let's see. Espresso lemonade. Weirdest thing I've seen. Oh, that's so strange. It's strange. It's so strange. It's like a lightened version of espresso. Like you're having bubbly carbonated citrus yeah. in your espresso shot. I don't hate it though. Yeah, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Mm -mm. I'm not sure. I wonder if this is an acquired taste because I saw orange juice and espresso at a cafe. I've seen a lemonade espresso at several places. I just don't really understand why you would order that. Like what kind of mood do you have to be to be like, hmm, now a nice lemonade with a shot of espresso in it. Yeah, okay, if you're Polish, let us know. Is this normal? Do you drink it often? I'm gonna, do you love it? I'm gonna put this down and we'll see at the end of the video if this settles. I feel if like it, it might separate like a bit. oil and water. <laughs> yeah. Ah, initially not really for me. Do you want to do it with the dessert since we had just had coffee? Or yes. Do we... Okay, we have one thing at McDonald's in Poland. You can get this, a macaroon. <laughs> Why are you holding it so funny? You're getting I'm your, a magician. A you're macaroon. getting your greasy fingers all over this beautiful macaroon. They have three different flavors, strawberry, pistachio, and chocolate at their Mick Cafe section. And we don't have this here at McDonald's in Germany. And I don't think in McDonald's in the US. So I was very curious yeah. and I want to give it a try. Yeah, at least not that I know of. Just yeah. gonna bite it. Go for it. I think in general, McCafe does a decent job with cake selection. The cakes are pretty decent, mm -hmm. even though they're probably mass produced and mm -hmm. people criticize that. But macaroons is something I don't order often. How but is it? I like it a lot. I just also am very biased to pistachio flavor. And here in Poland, I see pistachio everywhere. There's pistachio donuts, pistachio cake, and I freaking love it. So good. Your bites are bigger than mine. Wait a second. Dude, we had a macaroon somewhere. I would, I don't know why I would not order macaroons. I, don't, I didn't like it so far. This is so good. I like it. This is another thing that can I have to one of You, your bite is huge. I just had one bite. Okay, but his bites to my bites are so big. Mm. We're going back and getting another one for me. This is a little embarrassing, but I think I just discovered what a macaron is supposed to taste like. At McDonald's, he discovers it exactly. at McDonald's. And how the texture is supposed to be. You have this hard shell, but the dough underneath is softer, and then you have the filling and the flavor in it. This is so memorable good though. Well, we live really close to France. We should go. Yeah. Do they have macaroons? That's what the... Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's do a quick sample of the fries. The fries, McDonald's fries. We have a small portion. Very standard. They look normal. They look not really salted. <gasps> Quite a bit. However, they had a sauce that was called the Devil's Hot Sauce. But it says here, SOS Sriracha Mayo. <laughs> S O S. Help, Sriracha Someone Mayo. Someone help. Let's see what it looks like inside. Open that up here. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice orange. Yeah, that looks like some spicy mayo. Some spicy mayo. I wonder if it's going to be as good as the Peely Peely sauce that I really, really like. It smells really good. Peely Peely Mayo. Mm. Oh. Here we go. Fire sticks. Definitely spicier than I expected. Whenever I hear about spicy in Ooh. Europe or at McDonald's. I'm like, this is not gonna be that spicy, but that's a nice kick. Whoa, the fries, pretty bad. Very bland, half cold. Yeah, I think the fries They go. look sad. Yeah. But that's very surprising. That sauce is nice. I like it. I would put that on everything. I'm gonna dip the rest of my chicken wrap in that sauce. Mm. Getting into this lemonade espresso, what is happening? <laughs> That sauce, 10 out of 10. That is good sauce. I really like it. So let's go for this Supreme McCrispy. This was new on the menu at Polish McDonald's. It said new at least. And we just want to give it a try. Yeah, so this is like the biggest, best chicken burger on the menu. 
So we just cut it in half here and as you can see by this cut that's a brioche bun then we have the fried chicken on there and nice what it looks like honey mustard sauce some lettuce pickles onion tomato and red onion it looks really good this cut also chicken breast white meat Let's give it a try oh, i like it mm. I really like Chick-fil-A, Popeye's chicken in the US and that's often what I miss in Germany. This is awesome. I feel like I'm giving McDonald's too much praise. We're not big McDonald's promoters. We just like to try because it's different in every country. I really don't like the Mac chicken. This to me is really good. I give this an eight out of 10 and on that scale, the Mac chicken would probably be like a four out of 10. Yeah. This is so much better. I think if you add some of that spicy devil sauce on here, that will be perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. But I like, it's a honey mustard sauce that is very comparable to the one from Subway that I know of taste wise. Mm. And there's a good amount of that on there. And I think that works very well with the crispy chicken. The patty also is like the seasoned patty, not the bland old one. Yeah. It just comes really nicely together. Yeah, this is really good. I'm surprised. Why is McDonald's Poland very good so far? Like, I feel like it's <clears throat> better than Germany, except the yeah. Big Tasty. <laughs> and I think the selection wasn't that big. Mm -hmm. I think it's a smaller menu. However, the things that we chose today were really good so far. Mm. Last one. Last one, another budget option. One thing they had here is this choose two items for like eight or nine slotty. Yeah. So like a budget option and we chose this chicken burger with the fries that came together. And this is, okay. This looks a little more budget. It's called the red chicker. It looks a little bit like the old McChicken sandwich. We cut it in half. This and was not the best cut job. One half got all the chicken and the <laughs> other half just has sauce, so. Sauce with bread and a little bit of panade. So maybe Cheers. we just. Cheers. Yeah, you do. Nice bite there. Are we lighting the tramping this? No. <laughs> That's horrible. Not horrible, just very average compared to what we've eaten. But it's just because of the ingredients. Um, the chicken. It's good. It's the tender. I think it might be the same one that's on the fancy chicken burger. Just one of them instead yeah. of two. However, there's barely anything else to this burger. And the bread sucks. The, I think the bread sucks. The bread sucks a bit. It's very dry. The sauce is this like sweet chili sauce. And then some of this typical McDonald's shredded lettuce on it. So overall, maybe it's a good bang for your buck because it's a small burger. It's very cheap. On the scale to the other one, the McCrispy, the Supreme thing, that was awesome. The Maestro burger was very good. This one in comparison is just mediocre. Yeah. But good enough to finish it. Yeah, you ate that in a second. Well, sometimes when I go to McDonald's in other countries, they're not that great, but they always seem to be better than the US where I'm from and where McDonald's is from. Yeah. Why is that McDonald's? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand how McDonald's can still be the biggest one in the US. But today there weren't that many weird items except the one you're sipping on. That was the weirdest. And I'm weirdly getting into it. Okay. Why? It's, it's so strange to me, this combination. Because and it has sugar and caffeine. Yeah, it's amazing. Aside from that, not too many strange items so some countries have weirder things on the menu i would say mcdonald's in poland is pretty pretty decent not too bad let us know what you eat at mcdonald's and as always thank you so much for watching Dziękuję, and we'll see you next time do svidania bye 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 we should get hey, these on camera hey, at some what's, point what's important is this i'm excited to try the prince polo coconut do it open it not later in bed too okay. much right now